Hi everyone and welcome to Cooking with Cricket. Today I'm going to attempt to make a new kind of soup that the other night when we took our daughter for her uh, birthday meal at her favorite restaurant, which was Olive Garden, our son ordered a soup to try. And I'm probably not saying this name right, but it was called Zupa Toscana, but the name would be in the description box. Anyway, we all tried it and we all loved it. So I'm going to attempt to make it this evening. So first I have, you can use about uh, three to five slices of bacon that I've chopped up and I'm gonna fry it up till it gets crisp. And then once it does, I'll take it out and drain it on some paper towels and then we'll get on to the next step. I want to add, you can do this just all in the same soup pot, but with this enameled cast iron, um, my cast iron skillet or pot right here, you're not supposed to cook things um, in a high temperature, so you're supposed to just do medium to low. So I figured I would just fry up the bacon and the Italian sausage in this pan. So, but you can just do it all in one pan. While my bacon is finishing up, I want to tell you what else we'll be adding to our soup. Uh, I've got some hot Italian ground sausage. And if you use the uh, sausage links, just make sure you remove the casings. You can use hot or mild. Uh, my son wanted me to use hot, so I hope it's not too spicy for, for me to eat. But this is one pound. I'm going to be using some are just regular russet potatoes that I've chopped up and um, a small onion a few cloves of garlic and some kale and chicken broth but my onion I mean my uh, bacon is almost done I'm gonna cut the heat down so when I put my sausage in it won't be too hot now if you have a lot of bacon fat you can go ahead and drain that now but I, there's not that much in here, so I'm just gonna leave that in. Okay, my bacon's ready. We just wanna crumble this up and cook it till it's done. Our sausage is nearly done. So at that point, I've got one small onion and a couple of cloves of garlic. Now I just put mine in the food processor. If you don't wanna do that, just uh, chop it up. I'm going to go ahead and add this in so that the onion and the garlic can cook a few minutes while the sausage finishes up. So we'll just saute this together for a few more minutes. Here's my potatoes. You use three to four medium to large potatoes and just, um, they're kind of big chunks and I, you leave the peeling on or leave the skin on. But not too thick, but not too thin. About a half inch. So I just cut the potato down the middle and then laid it down and sliced it up that way. This still needs to go for about another minute or two till the onions are good and translucent and the sausage is done. Ooh, I hope this ain't gonna be too spicy for me to eat. But uh, I'll be using a slotted spoon to take this out and put it in my soup pot so to kind of leave back a lot of that grease or you can just go ahead and drain it in a uh, strainer but I'm gonna let this go for another minute or two and then when I come back I'll be done added this to my soup pot and I uh, drained off that excess grease all right now I'm gonna add in my potatoes And I probably have a little bit more potatoes because we love potatoes so much. Now I'm going to add three 14 ounce cans of chicken broth. And two cups of water. And now we're going to bring this up to a bowl and then let it boil 
for 30 to 45 minutes or until the potatoes are tender. And then we will add our kale, chopped up kale, and our um, half and half and let it finish up. Now I'm not going to add any salt or pepper or nothing else to this dish until it gets uh, near done. Then I'll taste it and check for that because the chicken broth has sodium in it and the sausage, you know, is well seasoned. So we'll wait and test that for seasoning when it gets done. If you want to add your bacon now, go ahead. I'm going to wait and add mine as a garnish. So just bring this up to a bowl and then let it cook till the potatoes are tender. All right, our potatoes are tender. So now we're gonna add our kale. I'm gonna cut the heat down just a little bit. I just took my kale, washed it real good, took the stem out and chopped it up real good. So you need around three cups of kale, but it's just kind of hard to measure it. So I'm just going to put it in there, stir it up, and let it wilt. I think that looks about enough. Maybe just a little bit more. And now I'm going to add one and a quarter cups of half and half. And we're going to let this simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes or until the kale is tender. And then we'll be back. I've bought some uh, crusty bread and I've cut it and buttered it and wrapped it in full. So while that's cooking the oven, this will be about done. And then we'll be ready to serve up a bowl. All right, our soup is about done. And you'll see, like right here, here's uh, pieces of the potato skin, but apparently that's what you want it to do. And that's how my son's soup looked too, with the potato skin like that. This has about six more minutes to go. Look at that. Don't that look good? My husband, who is asleep, because he's got to get up and go to work later on, he even woke up and came in here and said, that soup smells so good. So, when this gets done, we'll serve up a bowl. And here is our soup. And I put a little bacon on top. And now the cheese is optional. And you can use whatever kind of cheese you like. I happen to have some Asiago cheese. I'm just going to grate a little on top. And my son's done tried it. And he says it's wonderful. So... Hang on a sec, and I'll give you a taste. And I have me some crusty buttered bread. And if you use plain or mild sausage, you can also add some red pepper flakes. Next time, I'll probably use that and just add a little red pepper flakes. But all of my family loves spicy. This is real good. With that hot sausage, though, it does have a real spicy kick. And I can't handle too much spice. But as far as the taste and the flavor, this is wonderful. So, um, like I said, I got me some good crusty buttered bread to eat with it. And I hope you enjoy. Oh, and as far as salt and pepper, to me... This doesn't need any, but that's really to your taste. So I hope you enjoy. Don't forget about the bread. I'm going to get some more. Do not throw it away. Why would I throw it away? You have to get this in your